Traditionally, cybercriminals take advantage of the system's vulnerabilities to infiltrate into it and conduct malicious activities. Apart from it, another technique that has gradually gained popularity is social engineering. In this video, we will discuss what social engineering is and how cybercriminals use it to exploit our computers. Further, we will also discuss how to stay away from such attacks, so watch the whole video. Before we start this guide, press the like button and subscribe to our channel in case you forget later. What is social engineering? If you are an avid internet user, you might have encountered some intriguing pop-ups and emails that say, congratulations, you've won an iPhone, or something similar. Well, this is the trick used by exploiters to make you click on the link to introduce malware on your system. This is what social engineering is. Social engineering is taking advantage of human behaviors and natural tendencies. The social engineering attacks are conducted by analyzing how users will react if a fake offer or scenario is presented before them. It exploits the human psychology to manipulate people into making security mistakes and giving away confidential information. The attacks are executed by proposing offers that are too good to be true. Life cycle of a social engineering attack. Since it requires the victim's interaction, a social engineering attack is not a straightforward task and requires extensive research and several steps for successful conduct. 1. The first step is to identify the victims. Do their background research to find out how they can be exploited psychologically, and then select the attack method accordingly. 2. Next, the attacker would start frequently engaging with the target by spinning a fake story, thereby psychologically taking control of the victim. 3. Now in this step, the attacker would execute the attack using the knowledge gained by tricking the user. After the victim performed what was intended by the intruder, he would likely sabotage the system without making the victims realize it. 4. Finally, after successfully infiltrating the system, the intruder would remove all its traces and close all the interactions. Types of Social Engineering Attacks Social engineering assaults can be conducted anywhere where human interaction is involved. Here are the top types of digital social engineering attacks. Phishing. It is the most common social engineering attack. In this, the victims are tricked into providing confidential information by creating a sense of urgency, curiosity, and fear. Phishing is usually conducted through emails or text messages. It can also be done via catchy pop-ups. Take an example of a phishing email scam. A fake email claiming to be from an official bank organization can be sent to thousands of users, asking them to change their internet banking password urgently for the security purpose. The mail would contain a link, which would redirect the user to a fake website identical to the bank's original website. In fear, users would unknowingly enter their banking credentials and thus fall into the attacker's trap. Spear phishing. Spear phishing is a more specific version of phishing. It is a personalized attack on a specific victim who possesses critical information. We have a dedicated video on spear phishing. You can check that out from the description or from the i button. Baiting. Baiting is another popular social engineering trick. The attacker provides a fake offer as bait and takes advantage of the user's greed or curiosity. For example, many online ads offer free software or services to encourage users to click on it. Once clicked, either a fake, malware-infected program would be downloaded into their system, or they would be redirected to some malicious sites. Scareware Scareware is a malicious program that has no real benefit to the users, but intruders trick them into downloading it by creating a sense of fear in their minds. At first, users are randomly bombarded with the false threats which convey them that their system is in danger of cyber risk, and to fix that, they need to download and install the given program. That given program could be the gateway to malware or malware itself. A typical scareware example is a pop-up that randomly appears on your screen while browsing the internet that displays a message like, your device is infected with viruses. Pretexting. In pretexting, the intruder would impersonate itself as a bank official, police officer, or any other authority and cleverly manipulate the user to provide the sensitive information. The intruder would first establish trust by validating the standard info such as name, date of birth, etc. This information is gathered during research. 
Much essential information is collected using the pretexting such as social security number, bank details, personal address, and more. Preventing social engineering attacks. As it is clear, social engineering attacks are carried out through falsely influencing the victim. So you have to be very attentive in determining fake offers. Let us now discuss some methods to avoid them. Avoid opening emails and attachments. If you receive an email from an unknown source, cross-check before following its instructions. Never open an email attachment from a dubious source. If it feels legit, then scan it with an anti-malware, then open. Avoid sharing personal information. You should never reveal your sensitive information to strangers on the internet. If you get any call or text from a person claiming to be an official, thoroughly verify their identity before revealing anything to them. Be careful of the tempting offer is Most users get trapped in social engineering because of the unreal offers. If you feel any offer is too good to be true, then it is. For verification, you can Google search it and confirm its authenticity. Use multi-factor authentication. If your login credentials get captured by the intruder by chance, you can still save your account by enabling the multi-factor authentication. In multi-factor authentication, your login attempt would be authenticated by more than one means, like OTP. Install an anti-malware and keep it updated. For complete security, equip your system with a robust anti-malware solution like Malwarefox and regularly update it for the latest threat definitions. This was all about social engineering and its prevention. Like this video and subscribe to our channel. If you want to receive alerts for videos related to computer security, press the bell button.